Hey guys, so when you are choosing your career path, doesn't matter what the career is, you might be considering front-end developer, back-end developer, professional boxer. You may want to work for a Google, one of the fangs, you know, Google, Netflix. That may be something you aspire to do. Maybe you want to get into freelance. Maybe you want to start a business, whatever. When you are considering all these career options, the one thing that nobody ever points out, at least what I've ever seen, is probably the most important thing to consider when you're considering your career. So what you got to think about is how you want to spend your days, your weeks, your year working. How do you want to live your life? We're going to go back many eons, ages ago, when I was a young lad and I just left my first company while well, I sold out my position and I had been doing freelance for a couple of years trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do. So one day I realized what I had to do was really consider specifically how I wanted to spend my days. Did I want to have to get up at 9, not 9, at 7 a.m., drive to an office and work for a company? having to have meetings and deal with the corporate lifestyle, if you will, meetings, HR departments, uh, getting uh, people to have to approve everything I do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some people thrive in that environment. They can excel. They can work in there. When you work for a large corporation, just in case you don't know, you're basically usually siloed into a very particular niche. So if we're talking development, you may be the person who runs, who keeps the, I don't know, keeps the employee management system up and running where you're going to be writing a lot of code to process forms and CSV files or something. And that's what you're going to do. You're just going to do that. On the other hand, you may be hired by a company, a large company, where you're doing specifically UI, UX. That's all you do, UI, UX, nothing else. Build this screen, build that screen, build this screen. I have friends who do that. It's all good. Depends on what you want to do. So corporate work implies you're given a very, very precise structure. Typically, pre-COVID anyway, you have to show up at work at a particular time. You have to clock in. They tell you when to show up, when you can go eat, etc. But the great thing about corporate, most of the time, when you're done for the day, when you're done for the weekend, you're on vacation, you don't have to worry about anything. So on the flip side, if you're going to get into freelancing, it's a whole different game. With the freelancing, you are free. You can work when you want, choose the type of work you want to do. You may one day be doing a little UI UX, another day you may be doing some WordPress installs or Shopify installs. Another day you may be working with uh, a full stack uh, I don't know, framework like a Laravel or a Python Django where you're building apps, you know, all over the place. You may be setting up somebody's newsletter system. You may decide to work on Monday and then take Monday afternoon off. You may decide to work Tuesday, Wednesday and then take Thursday, Friday off. Who knows? With freelancing though, you have to create your structure. You have to be self-motivated. You have to go out there and get your contracts. And most of the time, you're going to have to learn how to speak to people. So freelancing implies a very different lifestyle, a very different personality type. So when you are choosing your career path, and this applies way outside of coding and development, et cetera, in all aspects of your life, try to imagine how you like to spend your days. You may love the idea of, a structure that's provided for you in a corporate environment. You may like the idea of moving up a corporation like an Amazon or a Netflix or a Microsoft where you go from, you know, coder to, uh, you know, manager to uh, VPs and director and VP and who knows. People thrive in that situation. I know people have done very, very, very well. So on the other hand, you may be, anyway, I can go on all these different scenarios. The point is try to think about how you like to spend your days, how you like to live, what, what makes you feel good and comfortable. 
I think that's pretty much it. A good piece of advice I got from somebody a long time ago. He said to me, whatever you do, Steph, choose a career that you like, something you like to do. Because even if you make a lot of money, if you're miserable every day, if, or if it's just really boring, life will slowly become miserable. And so this individual in question, he was making a lot of money for his time, multiples. When, most, when people were making X, he was making 4X, 5X the average. He was doing very well. And he came to, I think it was his late 40s, or maybe 50 at the time, I forget now, it's been a while. And he just had enough. And funny thing, what he did is he dropped his high paid executive job with a lot of power. And he went into the business of uh, being a newspaper delivery guy. I kid you not, newspaper delivery. He liked to jog and stuff. He was also getting into health, into health. So he wanted to jog. So he would just jog and deliver newspapers. It was very weird. But at the same time, he, he, is, uh, he was much happier. Of course, he had saved up money from being an executive for several years, so he was able to do that. But you never know, you know, it's like, you know, you have to do what you like, and that means not just the idea of it. You may like the idea of being a AI programmer or a crypto programmer, but learn what it's actually about. Learn what the day-to-day -day life is about in terms, you know, like I said, simple things like, do you have to show up? Do you have to talk to people? Are you going to be siloed or not? Or do you have to have a lot of responsibility? Are you going to be called on the weekends? These are all things you have to consider. Very important because it's these little things, it's these daily realities of that particular profession that's going to dictate whether or not you enjoy the job and whether or not you ultimately, if you're going to succeed. If you enjoy something and you work at it and you develop your skill patiently and diligently, uh, you're going to have a pretty good life.